And welcome, this is Bob Scuba with Let's Play Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Special edition, the sequel to The Secret of Monkey Island, of course. Now, because this is the special edition, there are a few bonus features that we can do. I probably won't be showing off the majority of them. Probably a lot of them are in the developer's commentary, which I have turned off. I would need to turn that on in the middle of the game anyway. There's also the art of Monkey Island, which I have not unlocked, because all I have really done is test the game to make sure that it's working properly. And it is! So let's go ahead and get this started. There is a bit of an introduction. I will be quiet while we figure out what the hell is going on. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. And now we can finally take over. You'll notice that there is a little bit of a change. Ah, part one, the Largo Embargo. A little bit of a change in terms of animation style. A lot more details when it comes to the animations. Of course, we can still uh, look at the old school graphics. This time pressing, holy crap, he's got a lot of stuff. This time pressing uh, F1 of all buttons, which is kind of weird. Uh, so you can see it through that. I will be using this throughout uh, the Let's Play. I'll probably be using it more than I did last time because when you do it in this game, the voice actors stick with it. Very, very nice. And you can see he's kind of moving around quite a bit. So. Let's see what we have in our inventory. You might have seen some things on the top of the screen. We've got riches! This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. Okay, I guess we need more money. Whatever happened to Elaine? I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. Remember, this is all being told as a story to Elaine, but I'm kind of curious where Elaine is in the story. Where? What happened to her? You had her last eye checked. I should be set for the whole trip with this. Tell me about the paper money. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. Alright, sounds good. So we can go find Big Whoop and that should do it. <laughs> Look at all this. He is quite rich. I don't know how he got all this money, but... I got enough to buy my own ship in five different currencies. He does. Gold, paper, jewels. Well, I guess these are pieces of eight. Gold bars. Pearls? Never seen blue pearls before, though. I'll be traveling first class on this treasure hunt. And bonds. Why you would need bonds, I don't know. You're a pirate, damn it. Sure took a long time to save all this. I bet it did. And now we can start seeing a little bit of a change. You'll notice a change in the cursor, of course. But now it'll also change how we interact with things. Now I can right-click and it brings up the menu uh, between look and pick up. Apparently I can pick up Welcome the Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. No treasure hunting. Weird. 
Okay, let's move on. If I just left click it, does it automatically? Uh, it doesn't do anything if I left click. So I do have to right click and go through the wheel, but it'll default to what I want to do most of the time. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? My pants you are fancy. ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Is this some sort of bribe situation? I'm a pirate, damn it. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Seriously? Who keeps up the law and maintains order? We're pirates, damn it. <laughs> Guy Rush, how could you let him do this to you? Uh, put me down, I won't have to hurt you. You're not really in a situation for that. Not in my new coat. Not in your new coat. No, let's make fun of cops. And who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. And then he just kind of remember walks off. Wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. That rhymed. Weird. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. That was quite a bit of sweat. Yeah, traveler's checks. Yes, you need a sixth kind of currency. And so we are left with nothing. Of course we are. So let's just... Well, let's try to pick up that sign, actually. Just said I could. Oops. I think I broke the sign. You just grabbed a freaking shovel off the sign. What the hell? Just like... Any good point and click to start, we are going to be grabbing pretty much everything that they let us. First door here. Is it? It's like a saw. There. So, maybe something with wood. He's a lumberjack or something. Woodsmith, apparently. How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what's with that Largo guy? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. What? Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. An all-night tattoo parlor sounds like a horrible idea. Nobody ever had a fantastic idea at 3 o'clock in the morning. Just a thought. Especially when it comes to tattoos. Uh, are you some sort of chef? Woodsmith? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How dare you? I am dressed in the finest fineries, or something like that. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. What do you mean? Isn't that the whole point of a woodchuck? But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? I'm lost. But a, a woodchuck should. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd ah. like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I think I win. Can I talk to him some more? <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Apparently not. Uh, there's... Oh, I guess we can look at the stool. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. I mean, I can't take it. Hey, don't touch that! It's adjusted to my height. What about the workbench? Nice, sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Oh, no, you don't. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Well, if I just keep on taking it and he says the same thing, I might as well just try to take all of it. What's with the calendar? Oh, no, you don't. No one touches her but me. Oh, boy. It's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Right, of course. Nail. Those could be useful. Get your hands away from there. I need all of them. What about the hammer? It says Woody. That's me. I bet I can't take it. What do you think you're doing? It's not a toy. Of course not. Peg leg? Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. 
Can I take it? Get your hands away from there. Damn it, he's running a legitimate business or something. What do you think you're doing? It's not for sale. Why wouldn't it be for sale? Can I push it? Hey, don't touch that. Apparently, it's not for sale. Apparently not, and you can't even push things that aren't for sale. Whatever. Let's get out of here. And we'll just move on to the next spot. The bloody lip? That's what it looks like. Yeah, read the sign. Oh, I thought it was... The right Bloody there. Lip Bar and Grill. Sounds lovely. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. I could always use money since I got everything taken from me. If I look at the hatch, it goes down. That's kind of cool. Look at the walking animation. Sweet. I do have a shovel. That's going to be good for something, I'm sure. How you doing, Barkeep? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Give me a... Give me a... Yeah, just give me a grog. Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. What? I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Yeah. Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Like Tell you what. Beard? I'll let you have some near grog. Ew. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. But it's just as nasty smelling and... Foul tasting is that stuff grown ups drink. Who drinks right near on. beer? Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Ooh, rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's Kate? Yeah, who's who's Kate? Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out. Does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Sounds like somebody I could do business with. Uh, yeah, what's the job? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, how's business? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Why not? Mario's got all my regulars spooked. Mario you know, I can like mix any guy. drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. Sex on the beach? What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Is it a screaming orgasm? Oh, that's gross. Right on Fork the wall. Look over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Like, seriously, this one guy is is terrorizing the entire town? What the hell's going on? Can I take a look at that? Largo's been here. How can you tell? Use the... Yeah, play the piano for me. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Uh, can I pick up the advertisement? You better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. What does it say? It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. Who's Jojo? What about the metronome? Can I take the metronome? No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Uh, I bet that is bad, actually. Uh, it's look a metronome. At... Thank you. Can't even hear it. Whatever. Uh, let's go in the back. Hey! Hired help only! Of course. And I'm not hired. Uh, there's a guy back there, though, but, you know, as long as he keeps doing his job, doesn't look like we're going to be doing anything for him. So, we'll just have to come back there later. Let's head to this door over here. It doesn't look like I can read the sign. Can't really make it out. Ah, Hello. it's a cartographer. You know, cartographer. Does he have anything I can grab? Ooh, pile of paper. I take that. He didn't seem to mind. I will take the paper then. And can I pick up the map? I can't reach it. Oh, that's no fun. Nice map. Thanks. What about that one? Nice map. Yep. I can't reach it. Get a pole or something then. 